Tens of thousands of runners from all across the globe have made their way to the district. Participants in the Marine Corps Marathon are one step closer to the starting line, as today they were able to pick up their packets and their bibs for the race. Two for the past two years, it's been a virtual marathon due to the pandemic, so runners are really excited to be back together this year. News Force Mauricio Casillas joins us live now from the D.C. Armory with a preview of what to expect this weekend. Hi, Mauricio. Hey there, good afternoon to you, Pat and Eric. As not just the runners who are excited, I'm excited as well here in the Armory for the pre-race health and wellness expo. Folks are just having a great time getting ready for such an important race. And just to kind of paint the picture for you, 20,000 participants are expected, one from all 50 states, 48 different countries being represented as well. And each one of them has a different reason for why they're running. I'm going to step aside so you can see this wall that has been set up. It's where folks can share what's inspired them to run for the Marine Corps Marathon and runners I spoke with say that this race just feels extra special this year given everything that we've been through. Runners from around the world marching back into the district. Some were in line since 5 in the morning eager to get their marathon bibs and while there's a mood of excitement in here many also took the time to acknowledge the significance of this race. The Marine Corps Marathon is about the Blue Mile. It's honoring our service members. Well, we've went for uh, 22 too many, which is people who commit suicide every day, military. So I was military myself previously, so it has a little bit of meaning. I am running in honor of Corporal Wayne Fortier this year. Christine Joins is running for her uncle, who loved participating in this marathon. Joins' uncle died of COVID-19 in December of last year. This year, I'm, I'm excited to be running for a cause, and it's gotten me into a groove of running, and I'm, I'm trying to enjoy it. I don't know if I'm there yet, but that's okay. Um, but I'm just also going to be so proud of myself for getting to the finish line. <laughs> Andrew Altman Sr. is about to run his 58th marathon. Each time, he runs in honor of his late father, who was unable to walk for the last 10 years of his life. I think about my dad being in his wheelchair. I think it's, if I can do it, anybody can do it philosophy. There's people a lot worse off in this world, so at least I can do is run 26.2 miles, even if it's five hours. And if you're taking part in the marathon or any of the other races, you still have time to make it down here to the D.C. Armory as the expo is going to be going on until 8 p.m. today. Can't make it today. It'll go from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow. Reporting live inside the D.C. Armory, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. All right. It's going to be a very special race this, uh, this year. Thanks, Mauricio. We have a complete guide to the Marine Corps Marathon in the NBC Washington app. And look for live coverage Sunday morning on News 4 Today. Jim Hanley will be live at the starting line.